What's going on everybody? JJ Wilson is here. We're going to do another corner episode here. This one should be episode 15 if I'm not mistaken. I'll double check. But yeah, um, I wanted to touch a little bit about the worsening COVID situation here in the U.S. And uh, with the recent death of a friend of mine from the coronavirus, it kind of had me thinking and with the little time that I had, I did some research a little bit, uh, mainly regarding the genders between men and women that contract the virus. So I have two graphs here. One of them is an old one from last year. And of course, at the bottom, you're going to see a big contrast between the number of deaths between men and women past the age of 60. All right. So as you get as it gets older like the the percentage of the fatality uh, yeah fatality rate of men doubles almost compared to some age groups if you see at the bottom it, it actually doubles i think with the 80 year olds it was like 10 percent fatality rate and it was five percent for women at that age group so that was pretty startling then i looked at another graph and it showed the state of California and that was of August 10th 2021 and I believe it had more women contracting the virus than men but the death toll was like around 58% male 41% female correct me if I'm wrong there on the graph but it really had me thinking like man this this virus is really taking out the male population hard really really hard and I'm going to try to find some more graphs of other countries because I remember reading earlier when this pandemic first went down about uh, certain places like uh, Italy, for example, or Germany, where you had an overwhelming number of men dying from the virus compared to the female population. So this posed the question, is this virus, this, this COVID-19, is this thing really a killer of men here? Because it's like, you catch this virus as a male, you're you're in bigger trouble than a female would be, you know. And that could be due to a variety of factors besides, you know, social stress, which I think is a big factor too. Especially if the guy has like a really important position in his uh, job or occupation to where, you know, he's already dealing with a bunch of stress with workers and customers and stuff like that. And then you add on the fact that you get this respiratory illness and COVID, but also does other stuff too. So it's not just respiratory, but even if you contract it, you know, that just adds on to the stress, right? So that's, that's a big, big problem, you know? And then that's probably other things too, like underlying health conditions, like asthma, uh, cardiovascular issues, you know, maybe the guy has used to be a smoker back in the day or something like that or alcoholic so you got all this stuff factored in man it really does make you kind of think like man maybe perhaps this is one of the big reasons why guys are dropping off like a cliff when it, whenever they catch covid like this you know so i mean if you're still walking around i guess with these problems and if you're vaccinated or not man this is something you really gotta like be aware of you know i'm just putting it out there not telling you what to do, not telling you to go get a shot or anything, but it's something you need to think about hardcore, man, because this, this recent COVID wave is not playing, all right? I just took out a close friend of mine. I right now hear any more news about other people dying off, off kilter and stuff, so just throwing it out there. This is a short episode. I'm probably going to come with another topic pretty soon. So yeah, just give me your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, let me know what you guys think. If the coronavirus is a big time killer of men. All right. And I'll be on my way.